Thank you, Mr. Ribasso. <laughs> and the Admiral, thank you very much for all your support. Uh, it's a pleasure for me to um, welcome you all here, all of those coming from Brussels and from Washington. It's uh, a privilege to open this seminar, and I would like, uh, first of all, to uh, thank all of those that contributed to making it happen. First of all, my team, of course, my colleagues from Brussels, and uh, several partners we have in, in Washington, and they have all been named just now. I want to thank you all for the contribution to the success of this, um, of this day of discussions. This is also part of the EU Rendezvous series, which is an initiative that we've launched a few weeks ago. It pays tribute to linguistic diversity in the Union by using a nice word from the beautiful French language in tribute to the Executive Secretary General of the AS, of course. Uh, the EU Rendezvous is uh, an initiative that we are developing together with the member states that aims at creating a space and opportunities and occasions for debate of European affairs with American friends. Uh, Cathy Ashton participated already, the Vice President of the Commission, Joaquin Amunia, as well. This is the third uh, event in this series, which started just a few weeks ago. We want to prolong it throughout, throughout the year uh, with many other occasions. And uh, I would like to also praise the support of the member states of the European Union in organizing this um, event. I'm joined by Pierre Vimont, the Executive Secretary General of the AS. We'll be joined in a few minutes by Congressman Meeks, who is on his way from Capitol Hill to, to here. But let, allow me to say uh, a few words also on behalf of Cathy Ashton. Uh, she was unable to be here. She's uh, traveling to Burma, and uh, always very busy, as you know she is. But I know that she fully supports uh, uh, the idea of organizing a discussion in Washington uh, around the issues that bring us together today. It's, uh, it's a timely discussion as well. And uh, ahead of the Chicago NATO summit, we thought it would be important to talk about maybe the best kept secret of what we do in Brussels, uh, CSDP, all the activities that have taken place for a number of years now, they go uh, sometimes largely unnoticed, but they are extremely important. Uh, and we thought it would be a good idea to bring over here our best experts, people who, who run the business in Brussels and elsewhere, to share their experiences with all of you to engage in a dialogue with experts, people from the administration, people from the military world here, defense and security world in Washington, foreign policy, in order to see uh, how much more we can do together, how much better we can cooperate among the EU and the US uh, in pursuing common strategic goals uh, and deepen our uh, cooperation. You will have a long, uh, a long discussion, a long day of discussions today. Uh, you will have several panels, different uh, themes being discussed. It's a very promising program. I look forward to listening to all of you and the reports of your, of your session. Let me say that uh, CSDP is a major element of our overall foreign policy and security and defense policy of the European Union. It has been going on for some time, as Pierre Vimont and Maciej Popovsky and many others will tell it throughout the day from our side. Uh, it received a new boost after the Lisbon Treaty, and I think this discussion uh, has also a lot to do with that. What has changed? What can we do better? Uh, what can we do better together? Also after uh, the Lisbon Treaty, it created a new setup, new structures, new roles. And of course, Cathy Ashton plays an extremely central role to all this. And again, I would like to quote her in saying that she looks forward to reading reports from this conference, and she's sure that this will certainly help her uh, do a job even better than, uh, than have to know. What I would like to add before giving the floor to Pierre Vimont and to the congressman that is about to arrive is to say that 
Of course, what we're discussing here is part of our foreign policy security defense toolbox. It's also part of the relationship with the United States. And I'm very happy to acknowledge today, after 19 months in, in Washington, uh, with the full help of my 27 colleagues from the member states, that uh, the relationship has uh, received a new, a new impulse, a new momentum. The way I see things today, uh, the cooperation we have on foreign policy, as much as on economic issues, is proving to go in the direction that we all want. That is, to deepen, to strengthen the relationship across the Atlantic. In today's world, this is more relevant than ever, that US and America, bound by such common and strong values, but also by strategic common interest, we are able to implement an ambitious agenda. As we speak, we are discussing from trade and investment and, and new and ambitious and realistic uh, understanding on the economic front, as much as we are discussing the way we deal with the emerging economies, the way we deal with China, the way we organize the global governance. But we are also discussing a lot of foreign policy. Not, no need to mention what we're doing on Iran, on Syria, on the Arab region, on the Middle East peace process, but also on places like Burma where Cathy is heading towards uh, today. Uh, what you are discussing here is not isolated from this promising new impetus in the transatlantic relationship. And I'd like to put it very much at the heart of, uh, in the context of this relationship.